All right, beginning the recording again. <laughs> We're doing this again, folks. <laughs> oh, Second time's the charm. Almost two hours. Three. Woo! Session. And I think I already need to restart. <laughs> God dang it. So. Because I I'm trying to click stuff. And... So. As I said previously in the recording that we got rid of, hello, ladies, gents, and muscular men getting a bit too passionate about their arm wrestling. And welcome to Zero Charisma, where uh, technical difficulties reign supreme. Um, we are down... Now, two players for tonight, though one of them might be back later, possibly. No idea. Um, we are missing yeah. Gummy, who plays Dennis, uh, uh, Dennis Alremedia, Cipriano de la Santissima, Ruizzi, the Casa the Third. And we are missing Dylan, who plays Maverith, Deadshot, Evergaith. Uh, but the rest of the players we have here, um, this time we'll go in order instead of reverse order. So we'll start with Odra. Oh, never mind. Amelia just muted That's herself. Like mute. Amelia, you Do are I... muted. Yep, sorry. Someone just walked into my room. That was fun. Kill oh, them. So... Oh, we're introducing ourselves again, right? Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Hi. My name is Amelia. I play Odra. Uh, I'm not blue in real life. Um... <laughs> Don't let her fool you, she is. Uh, uh, good to know? <laughs> Don't let her fool you, she is. None of us have actually seen her in real life, no, we cannot confirm that. I have, oh, no. uh, but I still can't it's confirm. Oh, don't, don't ruin the bit, remember. man, come on. I, I, yes, I, yes, I, I have so seen her, I can I confirm that she I is mind. blue. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Don't have to blow my car like right. that, god damn, alright. Up next, we have... <laughs> Craig. Oh, that's me. Hi, I'm Gentilo. I play Craig, the Hobgoblin Barbarian? Question mark. Roll with your camera, man. You're, you're, you're a flash on my screen over there. <laughs> oh, I was just signaling SOS. Okay. Could you accept you right now? Oh, God. Up next, we have. Pepper. Hi everyone, my name is Volte, um, also known as Pepper or Smeblinackle. Uh just please call me Pepper, uh, <laughs> but Volte. <laughs> I am, but I forgot how tall I am. I, I'm the shortest out of the group, and I, yeah, I like to um, steal people's shoes, maybe, <laughs> as my trophy. To clarify. She is Volte. Um, Her character is Pepper. It was confusingly yeah. worded. And lastly, I mean, she is a short. Okay. Old Man Elmer. <laughs> I'm John Saxon. I'm playing Old Man Elmer. I'm a barbarian! Exclamation <laughs> point. <laughs> For emphasis. Yeah. For emphasis. All right. So, with that out of the way, let's go into the recap a second time. Everybody. All of our players got the recap already because we started this recording once but then ran into huge technical difficulties. Uh, but for our viewers, when last we left off, the party, having all through various means heard about a job offering, uh, met up at the Ragged Ring Tavern uh, to meet with uh, Gundren Rockseeker and his two brothers Tharden and Nundro, along with a human by the name of Sildar Hallwinter, who was acting as their, who was acting as a guard for them. They were offered ten gold apiece to escort a wagon load of goods to the town of Fandolin, as uh, the brothers needed the goods escorted there, but um, they were not going to be ready by the time they needed to leave. Uh, the brothers then departed, 
and the party spent a few days, uh, I wouldn't say relaxing, uh, they spent their time fighting in the, uh, ring for which the Ragged Ring Tavern is named, and having very intense arm wrestling matches. When the time came to pick up the wagon load of goods, they headed to the gates of Neverwinter, found the wagon waiting there for them, and set off for the town of Phandalin. And that is where we find them, as they sit in their wagon, heading out of the town. Now, first of all, uh, before anything else, I would like to know who is driving the wagon. Um, probably not me. <laughs> but they wouldn't trust me with it. Uh, who would they trust with the wagon? That's a good question. Zephyr, and you, what's your character's name? Craig. I'd probably trust Craig. He sounds like a trustable guy with driving a wagon. Nah, Craig's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Keep that you can shirk the response. No, no. You can just leave the responsibilities with one of the two people who aren't there to to one of the two people who aren't here to defend themselves. I would, be, I would say the ranger would probably be a good idea. All right. So as you leave, dead shot with the responsibility of driving the wagon. How are the rest of you all passing the time? My question first, if you don't mind. Hmm? Like, so ha have we set off already? I'm yes. Sorry, I you picked up the wagon and set out through the gates of Neverwinter. Great. Okay. I don't have anything else to say for a second. <laughs> How would you like to pass the time? Just sleeping. Old man Elmer is. <laughs> <laughs> just sleeping away. <laughs> Yeah, he's snoring very loudly. Um, I, I can probably imagine Pepper just like, um, how do I, how do I say this? Like, following behind or like beside it, I guess. I don't know. You're not in probably the wagon. Behind. I don't know. I, I can just imagine her just following. I don't know. It's like, maybe not in the wagon, but just behind. I don't know. To be, to be clear, you're following behind a horse-drawn cart. Oh. Okay, I didn't think about that. And you, you... I'm sorry, I didn't take my... I want to race today, the cart. <laughs> you, who has a, a movement speed of 25 feet... <laughs> Never mind. I'll, I'll just I'll just speak inside. I'm are following behind a cart drawn by horses with no, a speed of forty we'll, feet. We'll just, we'll just pretend I didn't say that. Um, apologies, guys. <laughs> hey, it's in the recording. It's it's immortalized on on YouTube forever. <laughs> you know, Jerry, I'm following the wagon behind. Old man Elmer is. He's like running real fast, and it's just what in his sleep. Yes! Yes! And he's snoring very loudly. You've heard of sleepwalking. Get ready for sleep running. <laughs> Anyways, what? Okay. I'm sorry, I was not really paying attention. Honestly, that. in character. <laughs> for him. Um, Pepper will just be in the wagon. Just like, looking around, not really doing anything. I really don't know what else I can do, so. <laughs> that is all I can do. Craig is sitting in the back of the, the wagon, occasionally staring at wonder at old man Elmer. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, uh, is reading a book. Okay. Did you want to say anything? <laughs> Otra is dissociating. Oh, you were talking about... <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my character's name for a moment. I was like, who are you talking to? Um, that was, okay. Um, you know what? Yeah, I am. I'm, pro I'm probably sitting in the 
wa cart, wagon, whatever we called it, um, scribbling away at what looks to be a journal or a spell book, possibly. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Aggressively writing, yeah. Aggressively and writing. as Deadshot okay. steers the cart, Dennis, Dennis is just sitting there sipping tea out of, yes, a teacup and, and a saucer he has okay. brought along on the trip. Okay. I could see that. That's iconic. Um, and, okay. I, I want to also just take out the shoe that I have and just, like, look at it and be like, yeah. Got the shoe. Oh, shoot. Uh... <laughs> yes, I also have a shoe that is just here in my inventory. Check. It's amazing. Yeah. So what happened? Apologies. I was just having some issues with audio and I joined uh, no, you a You're good, you're good. Imagine having issues with audio. <laughs> it's better now. Okay, we're good. As, <laughs> as the cart travels along, the time passes by largely without incident. Um, as you uh, take in the sights and the sounds if you can call it that, it's largely just grassy pastures, occasional wooded areas, um, and a dirt road as you make your way along the Tribor Trail. But after about a half a day of travel, as you come around a bend, you spot something out of the ordinary from the rest of your travels. Uh, about 50 feet ahead of you, you see two dead horses lying in the path, blocking it. Each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. The woods press close to the trail here with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. As Deadshot slows the cart, how would you like to proceed? Okay. So, um, two dead horses and... Two dead what? horses lying in the trail, blocking it, eat with black feathered arrows sticking out of them, and a steep embankment on either side of the trail. Can we get someone to make, like, a perception check to try and see if we can see anyone or anything that looks off? Uh, That's a good idea. Sure, as, as you, uh, as you in your sleep run into the back of the cart as it slows down and jolt awake, uh, you're welcome <laughs> to, you're welcome to make a perception check if you'd like. Alright. I will make a perception check. What is your perception, Volty? Um, my perception? Yes. Plus three. Mine is plus five. How will you help me instead? Don't start metaing this already. <laughs> Are you not allowed to do that? I mean, you can both just make separate perception checks. But Sorry, since since old man Elmer did speak first, I will have him make the perception check. Volti, you are welcome to provide the help action. All right. How do I provide the help action? You just, just so you help him, that. and he has advantage on the roll. All right. I shall help you. But is All that right. it? Just, yeah. All right. Let's do this. I got a natural twenty. Yay, you I would not have it without the help. Which Good is which is what 25. with your twenty five? Yeah. All right. Um, that is quite a start to the session. Um, it it's difficult to notice. Um, but your uh jumpiness uh does 
your jumpiness has put you on a high alert, and you you notice some shapes moving around a little bit in the woods up on the embankments on either side. Anything more than just some that, humanoid no? you notice some you notice a couple of humanoid figures moving about in the embankments on either side of the trail. You okay. you don't notice anything else particularly out of the ordinary aside from the horse carcasses themselves. Well, I would say that's pretty out of the ordinary, so I'll tell the rest of the party about that. Like that, about that, but like I'll whisper it. Oh. Oh. I could see some hero vaguely humanoid figures up there on the the thing the thingy. Can I point? He, like thinks he's he, he thinks he's whispering because he can barely hear himself, but <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, he's like yelling. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you make a stealth check with disadvantage on that. What? My hearing is it actually that bad. Yeah, it probably is actually. <laughs> You're as old as you say you are. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, any of the any of the ages you say you are. <laughs> At the end of this campaign, we're gonna have to make a compilation of every different age that he said that he is. <laughs> right. I rolled a ten. A ten. I rolled a ten of three thousand. All right. Uh, the figures which were moving a little bit seem to fall still as you uh whisper this to your party members. It seems they heard you and have stopped. What would you like to do? Um, I want to look at the dead horses. <laughs> so you are... Seems like a poor decision. <laughs> You're approaching the horse carcasses? Yes. Alright. So. Wait, okay, hold on. Can I stop her? <laughs> uh, You're literally going right into their line of fire. What are you doing? Like, I like how everyone's like, this is an obvious trap. And, and we all just let her walk into it. Like, she's got to learn somehow. No, yeah. hold on. Alright. Deadshot yeah, was driving the car. <laughs> Zentillo is sitting near the back. My, I'm not very smart, okay? <laughs> Alright, so. You have control over your character if you'd like to move. You can... So, who who said they were trying to stop? Uh, In character trying to stop her. Like, hey. <laughs> like, what they say? Like, what are you doing? You're walking right into the line of fire! <laughs> Is probably here. <laughs> Up to you, Pepper. Do you stop? Yeah, I'll stop. She's like, is like, I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean? I mean, the horses. They... What's so wrong about looking at them? They're already you know dead, and right above where they're standing, we've been told that people are hiding. It's oh. the most obvious trap that has ever been set. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> and then she Something goes, definitely hurt us. So. Do I need you good with ranged weapons? Um. Uh, ranged weapons? I am. Um, no. <laughs> dead. Dead shot speaks up. I am. Um, and he he pulls a bow off from his shoulders. Damn, dude. Uh, they can definitely hear what everything I'm saying. This is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna commit murder. Uh, right. More than at first. I guess. What would you like to do? The floor is yours, so to speak like to suggest that dead shot shoot at them all right let me you guys have a better idea let me roll a perception check for dead shot to okay. see if if he can spot
spot where to shoot with advantage because you've pointed them out. But okay, yeah, he's good. Does um, anyone else think this is a good idea, or am I? This is just I, me. I don't know yeah. what is a better idea. Dead shot I mean, knock. Like, I can't think of anything else to do. At the Dead shot like, knocks an arrow and, and aims it. Stay high, like. Dead shot knocks I, an arrow and aims it. Uh, I, and waits for I will, your call I will to release. Carefully, carefully. I, I turn everyone. I will carefully make my way to the horses. If they make any aggressive actions and I turn to dead shot, do your thing. I'm and gonna then, aim a. Uh, I'm gonna aim a javelin over there too. Uh, all right. I'm going to take the dodge action as I begin to make my way up to. All right. And you can you can move your characters either with arrow keys or with. Uh, click and drag. It's set to free movement right now. I can't see my character. You are at the back. We're right here. I, am I the same thing that you guys are? I, I so. seem like just a gif, that's all. Like no tile or anything. Oh, you you did not get moved to the scene somehow. Uh, one moment. <laughs> okay. Here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Like I see a guy moving at the back. I'm I'm trying to pull you to the scene and it's not it's not bringing you to the scene. I want to move I want to move the camera. One moment. I'm going to quickly take us back to this scene so that I can okay. All right. And now back to here. Now everybody should be here. Loading. To where? Okay, I can see it now. Everybody should be back on the map now. I am not. <laughs> well, I'm back to the gif. <sighs> All right, one moment. Oh my god, I'm gonna become the Joker. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> now, now I'm on the map. I'm pulling everybody to the scene. Give me a moment. Okay. There. All right. On the map. On the map. First time with everybody in the server. You tend to encounter these kind of things. Is everybody able to see the map now? I am, yes. yes. Alright. You can select your character and move them as you please. I'm gonna stay uh, right where I am. Can I take like uh can I take the ready action? Like if they if they fire a bow uh, a bow or appear to be about to fire a bow, I like throw the javelin immediately. I don't know how well I can see them. Uh you can you can see that they're there, you can like vag vaguely get a sense of their position, but you can't, can't like, really tell their what they're doing. Okay, so if I see like so, like you can, get fired at, yeah, you can so like prepare. At, you can like prepare the action and then have uh have him being fired at be the trigger or something. Um, yes, exactly. That is what I want to do. At this point, uh, so Zentilo, as you make your way over to the cart. Um, it is trashed. Uh, the, the cart is broken. The bags are, uh, the bags are lying open and have been looted. Um, because you never, Sorry. you never hit the button to long rest. Oh, I didn't? How do I do that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. There, I rested you. You yeah. should be good now. All right. As you apologize, I don't uh, really the the bags lie open and empty, um, and nearby on the ground you see an empty leather map case. Hmm. This is as you're probably important. As you're taking this in, though. Um, several arrows fly out of the woods above you. Be dodging. You are dodging, so they have disadvantage. And technically, they're not hidden from you because they were well, actually. Uh, 
go go ahead and make a perception check with advantage for me quickly. I just want to check something. Sure. That's a dirty 20. All right. Uh yeah, you none of them none of them are hidden from you per se. You you're aware of their locations and and stu such you can't really see them, but your their presence is known to you. Um that is going to be four attacks against you at disadvantage as a barrage of arrows fly down from the uh the embankment in um yep, yep. armor classes all right 16 so that will be all right so God. i keep i keep rolling and then checking and then rolling and checking i should just roll all four um so as you're approaching cautiously uh, you look you you. While you're half investigating the cart, you're also keeping an eye out. And as you see the arrows start to fly down, you step back out of the way. Um. One of them clatters off of the back of the cart. Another embeds itself in the broken wheel. A third lands right between your feet, but the fourth manages to strike you, uh, below your ribs. Um, as you. Just can't quite get out of the way of that one in time. You take six points of piercing damage. Um. And at this point, uh. Elmer and Deadshot are both able to release their attacks. I'm gonna try to do this with Foundry, but I'm not 100% sure how it works yet. Uh, you can, you can do it pretty easily by just clicking on the weapon and then... Or clicking on the weapon's picture. Um. Does it work? And then you can click attack to roll the attack and damage to roll the damage. In the chat. Very, very slow, but... Yes, it is. Uh, I'm trying to find the, the cover rules, okay, I forget. Okay, my roll is a 15, or a 19, rather. A 19. Uh, yes, that will hit. Um. Seven points of piercing damage, wow. 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 Wow, indeed. Um. As I wasn't uh, where which where where are you aiming at with that? Are you aiming for the um whichever formless blob looks the most like close to me that I can see most clearly? Uh, also <laughs> where are you? Um, you, you where am probably I? Have, I'm right where you'd probably have gotten up to there to be able to. Uh, so the closest to you would probably be over here. Um. Works for me. And you pull your, you bring your javelin back and toss it up, and, uh, you hear, uh, from up on the ledge. <laughs> um. You gather that did not end well. For whichever one you were aiming at, um, and at, and yeah. at this point, Deadshot also is going to release his shot, which yeah. just thuds into a tree as the figure ducks down. And at this point, I would like everyone to please roll initiative. Uh, okay. Okay, how do we roll initiative in this? Never mind, I fucked up. Oh. Not figured it out. I did. Hey! I just 14. Oh god. Alright. Why, why do you have a plus 0 0.14? No, hey, you know no. the second roll? I hit this button too many times. Don't know. I don't know why I have.
job. <laughs> it's a tiebreaker thing. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. Especially useful. You know. Yeah. Alright, let me just make toggle That's everybody's combat state. If you go on, um, Elliot, if you go on, what is it, your character sheet? Character sheet? sheet? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's the initiative. Wait, I'm not... Initiative, or you can... Click on it. Yeah, I'm trying to... Okay. I probably just... Why you is the just English roll? language not working for me right now? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You probably just roll and then plus your... Yeah, let me find... Yeah, okay, there we go. That helps. Here, let me see if this prompts what you. What I did was just, I just clicked on there and then that somehow okay. improved. Here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna roll your initiative for you to okay. just quickly oh, get okay. that out of the way. Sorry, I'm bad at technology. <laughs> you did it. it. I couldn't figure out how to make it prompt okay. you, so, um. I just don't see one right now. It's don't? so right up up top next to your stats. There's an I and I. That's you want your uh, I. Um. Yeah, I'm on my character sheet right now. I don't see it. Craig. Right. <laughs> You're good. Uh. Maybe next to. Um. I don't know how you I just don't this, see though. As everybody makes their attacks. You're it's fine. Off. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. Good. You got it now for now. So it'll be fine. Yeah, it works for now. <laughs> Uh, as everybody okay, as everybody okay. releases their attacks and gets gets ready for a fight, um, Craig still dodging, so they still have disadvantage. Um, you see another uh, arrow fly out at you from up on the ledge up up around here, but you manage to step out of the way of this one as well. Um, like, ducking down and blocking it with, with your forearm. Um, like, sort of. Letting it bounce off. Uh, but as you're looking up to try and figure out where the shot came from, just as quickly as it, uh, as it came towards you, as, as you duck out of the way, you suddenly lose track of where it came from. Um, as... The figure takes the oh, hide cool. action. Uh, up next, as that ends that figure's turn, Dennis is going to take his turn. Um, and Dennis, because I have to control Dennis for now, um... Dennis steps forward, uh, down off the cart, um, and sorry, I did not familiarize myself with his character sheet because I did not expect to be playing him. Uh, he looks up towards one of the figures that's still a bit in view, um, and you see a glow come into his eyes for a second. Uh, shoot, I just closed the spell. Why did I do that? Um, you see a, a pinkish glow come into his eyes. Uh, but just as quickly as it comes, it fades, and he sort of blinks it off. Um, he then... Does he have any bonus actions? Uh, he does but not one that he not any that he can really use right now um so that's gonna end dennis's turn what fun oh i should have combat music going that's that's what we're missing <laughs> combat music combat ah, music my turn oh. uh old man elmer you are up what would you like to do? Okay. Um, are the are the goblins like 
Uh, are the goblin tokens on the screen right now? Uh, what do you mean? Or the humanoid tokens, whatever we're fighting. Uh, you... One of them is ducked out of sight. You can kind of make out one over here and another over here. Um... I'm just asking because, like, uh, on mine, I'm seeing the shadows of the trees, so I'm not sure if they're, like, just behind those or if they're not uh, on the, like... You're, so what you're seeing is you're seeing the shadow of the em embankment because that's just making it more difficult to see up there. Uh, so they have uh, three quarters cover currently, but you can I you see can them. see them. You can make them out. Okay. And technically, um, your attack earlier shouldn't have hit because of three quarters cover, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> Not complaining. Um, am I close enough to run up to them? Uh, 30 feet of movement. Do any of them? Are you are you trying to run up onto this embankment, or are you trying to find a way up over here? Your cursor is moving like laggy enough that I can't really tell which one. Are you trying to? <laughs> what, are you trying to get up over here, or are you trying to head up down on the southern uh, embankment? The first one, the northern one. All right. Um. You can run up on this side over here. Um, let me get out my ruler. Uh, you probably couldn't get to the, the figure and attack, but you could try and start making your way over there. Um, you can also try to climb up the whoops wrong thing you could also try to climb up the embankment to make the path a bit shorter but um well you don't have a climb speed so it wouldn't actually shorten it that much but okay i'm just gonna get as close as i can um without climbing all right, you should be and able to move your figure. With only thirty feet of movement, and then I'll throw another javelin. All right, with thirty feet of movement, you can get yourself to around there. I... That look good. That looks perfect. Uh, hold on. It was there, I believe. And as you get up, you you I'm gonna keep track of, uh, the goblins start sorry, to come into. It? As you get up there, the goblins start to come into view a bit more, um, and you can now make out that they are in fact goblins. Uh, and you can see one of them is just like lying, impaled on your first javelin, like going through his upper torso. Um. And then you nice said shot. you'd like to throw a second javelin? Yeah. Um, is he still the kind of three-quarters cover from this, uh, uh, from this from, angle? From this angle, right uh, not really anymore. Um, it, is right. a, it is a 70-foot throw, though, so you will have disadvantage on the attack still. But no, well, no AC bonus from cover. I can take that. Um, let's see. Okay, for disadvantage, I'm just gonna hit attack twice. Oh wait, no, I can set it. I think there's a way. I think there's a way to to roll it with disadvantage. Yeah. And I just did. <laughs> that is Ooh. not going to hit. Um. And your second javelin, you, you go to throw it, and the goblin, like, this time sees you coming and uh, is already ready and, like, sort of brings his scimitar up to alter the path of the javelin and, and prevents it from hitting. You have bonus action if you'd like. I do want to rage. All right. Do I need to uh, click anything for that? I... Here. Um, let me just... I can do that. I found it. Oh, I just did it. For you. Okay. Brilliant. 
you are now raging. Let me put the condition on you because it does not automatically apply that to your thing. Why did it... What the heck? Uh, there we go. All right. And that ends that turn. Uh, up next is the other figure over on the other embankment over here who is going to take another shot at Craig because he's the closest target. Um, still at disadvantage because dodge is still in effect. Uh, this time, this time you've, you've, like, figured out where they're coming from, pretty much, and you're able to get down, excuse me, you're able to get down, like, behind the remains of the cart to get out of the way of this one, um, but just as, uh, and as, as that shot comes at you, uh, you see that figure also tries to duck out of the way, but as he does, he accidentally stumbles and actually falls down the side of the embankment. Um, uh, taking a fair amount of damage from the fall as he, like, lands on the side of the wagon and it slams into his ribs. Um, that ends his turn. Uh, up next is Odra. What would you like to do? Odra? Hello? Because we know the um, goblins, whatever, are generally... Where? Sorry. Um, so... One of them is around here. Uh, there was another that was somewhere around this area, but you can't figure out quite where they went, and this one just fell down the side of the cliff face. Or, not cliff. Um, uh, he fell down the side of the embankment and is, and is lying there prone and somewhat hurt. Okay, um, I'm gonna move a little closer so I can get a better good, um, English, my goodness. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit closer so I can get a good shot at this guy. If I can move my mouse, oh my god. This is a struggle today. Um, okay. I think I can... I think that will... Okay. That's I I did it. 20 feet currently. Okay, that works. Alright. Which one are you and going I'm after? Going... Uh, the one that I can see. That fell? Yeah. Uh, that one is currently okay. 90 feet from you. Okay. I, yeah, that'll work. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do, um, magic missile? Alright. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and, uh, cast that. Okay. I think I just did? And all, f all you're aiming, so you can see this one and then you also can mostly see uh this one up here so which ones would you like to aim at you you can aim the three darts at individual ones if you'd like sorry could you repeat that? so you have three darts from magic missile uh right. you can oh, send okay. them all at the guy over here or you can split them between these two whichever you'd prefer Between the two, why not? All right. Uh, how? Which ones would which you like one? to apply to which? How many would you I'll, like to I'll, send at each? I'll aim two at that one and two at and one at the other one. <laughs> two, um, two at two at the one that's that lying one, there. Yeah. All right. That's lying there. Yeah. You founder try, uses like, founder up, uses but, those uh, rules for magic missile. Sorry. I mean, those are the technical... Yeah, rules. those are the official rulings for Magic Missile, but I still don't like it. <laughs> um, so... I like it when I roll a 3 or a 4. I don't like it if I roll a 1 or a 2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as, the, as, as you, like, 
bring your hands up and release the spell, you see these three, like, uh, silvery bluish darts arc out, uh, two of them, uh, like, just whip around either side of Craig, and Craig, as you're facing them, this just comes out of nowhere. You see these darts arc around you and slam into the goblin that just fell, and the third one hurdles up the, the side of the embankment to slam into that other goblin that is somewhat visible. Um, he I lets out it. I was gonna take that one. <laughs> um... Anything else you'd like to do? Anything else you'd like to do, Odra? Uh, I think that's all I can do, for the most part, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you have any bonus actions prepared other than healing yeah. word. Don't need that. Yet. Um. <laughs> yet. yet. Up next, yet. Craig. It's your turn. What would you can like I, to do? Can I see any of them from where I... Um, it's... You can you can mostly see the one that's up here. Um, th you are generally aware that there's one somewhere around here, but you're not quite sure where exactly. This one you can mostly make out, though. And is that the one that was hit by magic missile? Yes. Okay. Um, so then I will, uh, I'm going to move over here and duck down on the edge here to get cover from the ones, uh, behind me. All right. Uh, in this area. Uh, so like and then, in the cart. Yeah. Kind of All right. what's, using what's left of it as cover. And then I'm going to look up at the other one. Um, I'm just going to kind of, kind of reach out my hand and with like my two fingers, I'm just going to go like, whoosh. Uh, well, you can't see that because I don't have my camera. It's... You do. <laughs> you still have the camera on, on Foundry, so. Oh, is it there? Yep. Not on my side. It's not... Oh, did I turn it off for myself? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so, but I, I'm going to cast Mind Sliver. All right. Um, and you will see the same sort of glow come into Craig's eyes that earlier came into Dennis's, um, as you stare up at the goblin up there. My metal die just jumped out of my tray and landed on my glass desk. That... <laughs> less than ideal. Uh, what's your DC on that? Uh, this is an intelligence of DC 14. Alright, uh... The goblin, um, just, and fails a save. That is, I believe, um, 1d6, 1D6 psychic, psychic damage, damage so. and he subtracts 1d4 from his next saving throw. Yes, if it's still alive. If he's still it's alive, which damage. he is not, as, uh, you glare up at him with this glow in your eyes, and he just... And he just topples over backwards. He is dead. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Shout back to Odra. Okay, you're forgiven. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, nope. I will stay down. All right. Keep my cover. Pepper. Okay, um, I've been trying to think about what to do. Um, I can't see what's going on right now from where I am. So I'm like, what in the heck is going on? I just see this guy dead over here. Um, I don't have a lot. I can't go far. You have 25 feet of movement, then you can dash if you'd like yeah. as your action. I just would like to see can see what's going on, because honestly, uh, I cannot see. If you wanted to kind of run up onto the embankment a little, you could get to around there, um, which would give you a better view of this side, but you are aware that uh, 
both of the goblins up here that you know of are dead. As far as you're aware, the only goblin that's left is over here. So you could move up onto the embankment if you wanted to get a better vantage point. Um... Uh, uh, over to the other side, or you could start to come down this way if you wanted to get a bit closer to that goblin. Should probably start in closer to this way, and then also dash as well. Alright, so you can get 50 feet of movement with the dash. You think? Alright. That could get you to around there. I think right here. I'll do it right here. Alright. Where you are? Okay. Yep. Right, right there. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to do? Hey. You have a bonus action if you'd like to rage. Um, sure, I'll rage. <laughs> Alright. I just click on it? Yep, you click on the icon. I do not have permission. I do not have permission, apparently. That's weird. Well, Execute Marco Rage. Oh, yeah, you can use them from your character sheet, but for some reason the macros down in the uh, bars aren't. Well, some of the, some of them are. Some of. Them. I'm guessing probably what happened is that um, when the when the application reloaded, it registered. It probably what happened is since I updated Foundry to version ten, it messed mm -hmm. with the macros. So here, I'll just raid you from your character sheet. Yeah, because I don't know how to do it from here. You are now raging. Yay, thank you. Of course, if you do not attack or get attacked before the end of your next turn, your rage will go away, but the combat is almost over anyways. Uh, dead yeah. shot. Uh -oh. Dead shot is going to move up to there to get a better view, and probably closer to there, right? That's that's 35 feet. He needs to move back one to there. All right. And Deadshot is going to fire an arrow somewhere up here. He doesn't know where the goblin is exactly, so it is at disadvantage. And the arrow just through the brush and lands in the ground. Um seemingly not hitting anything um and that's pretty much all he can do at this point uh so here hold on i want to delete one of his arrows because i just used it <laughs> i did not mean to increase his arrows from 94 to 943 there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um, it's fine. It's fine. And fine. that's going to end Deadshot's turn. Oh, Up next is the goblin. Flesh one. Not the dead one. Why is the dead one able to come up that in combat? Dead. Yes, that, which is why I was wondering why he dead. came up in the combat order. There we go. Back to the top of the round with the goblin. Um, you hear the rustle of, uh, you hear the rustling of the underbrush as the goblin seemingly begins to attempt to run away. Huh. All right. I wish I could see what's happening right now. <laughs> And yet, that's that's what that's what happens when things are up on a ledge. Um, yeah. The goblin takes the dash action as he begins to run away. Um, God damn it. Yeah, that's that's what that's what somebody does when three of their companions get killed in seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when they're cowards. Dennis. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I wouldn't do that. Uh. <laughs> Dennis, um, calls out, uh, what are we doing with the last one? Um, the last one? <laughs> I'm staying in. Uh, 
Uh, he is Try going to, to he's going to head over to here. I think. Yeah, he's gonna head to there. Um, and then. Uh. Let's see. Um. <laughs> Then he's going to take the dash action to move to here. Uh, and then you watch as he, like, closes his eyes and concentrates for a moment and then just pfft, and disappears in a puff of, like, pinkish sparks and, and uh, a little bit of, like, fluff that just goes uh, flying into the, into the light breeze. Um, and you see another pinkish flash from, uh, up above on the ledge, uh, as Dennis reappears up there, around here. Um, and that is his turn. Elmer. Old man Elmer, what would you like to do? Oh, shoot, I didn't uh, have... What is the state things. of the goblin that we're trying to uh, capture right now? Uh, the goblin... Did Dennis actually do anything to it, or did he just get up there? Dennis did not do anything to it, because the goblin is still hidden, and takes an action to search for a hidden creature during combat. Okay, so if I wanted to search, I would have to do that too right now, I assume, if I wanted to do anything to him? Uh, if you wanted to try and spot him and see where he is, you would have to take the search action. Um. So, if I take that action, I can't really attack, so... If I... I, I don't think searching would make it I mean, so I inform someone else of where he is, would it? Uh, I mean, uh, talking is a free action. So, you could just, like, call out oh, to, like, he's over there in the... the bushes by the thingy thing or whatever probably a bit more specific than that but all right so you're gonna take the search action um yeah i'll do that all right go ahead and make a perception check i can to where i think he is all right uh so you know he's up over here so if you want to get a better vantage point you could um you could like move further up onto the embankment you're currently on to like around uh, around here, and that could give Perfect. you a better view. That. All right, so it was here, and then you wanted to take the search action. Hold on, let me update yes, your elevation. All right, I've updated your elevation. There, you should be able to see more now. Uh, I did not mean to. There we go. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me. All right, that's, uh, I rolled a 9 plus 5, 14. 14. Um, you notice a bit of motion over here, uh, but you can't really make out the figure. So you know generally, like, his whereabouts, but you didn't see him really. So he's still hidden, but you know where he's hidden, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll shout at, um, is Dennis too far away for me to, for him to hear me? No. Alright, well, I'll shout at Dennis, like, uh, He's only, like, 75 feet away. Over there! Then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to point over where I saw him. And, he like, turns and looks there. back at you and then looks over. Uh, up next. Oh, Jerry, real quick, before you go on. I'm just removing uh, the dead goblins from the initiative you? order. Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask, how long are you thinking of going tonight? No idea. We're a lot later. Okay. I I am going to head out at 10.30. I want to get up a little bit early tomorrow, and I was expecting this to start at 6.15. Duly noted. Valid. Thank you. Right. Let me just... Uh, end my turn. Oh, my cats are... How did us privately roll some dice? That's really interesting. I just... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> updating the combat order so that I can get rid of these dead goblins that are here. Uh, right. 
I get that. I often have to get rid of dead goblins, too. All right. That's going to end your turn? Yeah, that'll do it. Odra. What would you like to do? So do any of us understand what the heck Elmer said? Or uh, are we just... Yeah. You you saw that Elmer You saw that Elmer went up and shouted at Dennis and gestured wildly it, it, towards something over here. Can I roll a perception check to see <laughs> uh, if you want to take the search okay. action you can. I mean I can't really do anything to something I don't know where it is, so I mean you can fire in a general direction and hope that something hits. But that's about the best you can you can do without knowing where it yeah, is. Yeah, um, I'll take the search action. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. All right. Did you want to move uh, it all like first? The safer option here. Did you want to yeah, move it all yeah. first, or just? Oh, that might be a good idea. Uh, yeah, right. I'll move in a little bit. You could move to around somewhere around here. That, that looks good. Yeah. All right. Here. Yeah. Thank Oobie. you. All right. Um. It would be there. Uh, and then go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Cool. Just remember I think this is legitimately the first time that the okay. search action has actually been used in a game that I've run. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. Just a perception check, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. Figure it out. Is that it? Wait. I think you can click. You oh, can trigger it okay, by clicking on the. It. Okay. Okay. Think I did it. Yep. Oh, <laughs> natural twenty. Ooh, okay. Uh. Twenty. Look at you. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna. Technically, you are you are not actually ten feet up, but I'm updating your elevation so you can actually like, see. Um. Uh. Okay. Great. You. Yeah. Oh, you. You see where the goblin is located. He is That's convenient. Yep, you okay. he he cannot escape your gaze. You look up and oh he's <laughs> he's right there. He's really not as good at hiding as, as these people are making him out to be. Yeah. <laughs> um I mean I was just gonna throw the general direction, but this is cool too. You can point him out to the others if you'd he's like. Trees, right? Yeah, he's in the trees, right? That that's true. Yeah, he's Isn't like that? between these two trees in the in the yeah, underbrush. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna point in that direction and be like, like what the old man means is he's over there. So. <laughs> and the rest yeah. of the rest of okay. you all following her guidance can now see where he is. Okay. Yay. Anything else you'd that like works. to do on your turn? <laughs> Even though I still can't see. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? You have a bonus action if you want to, like... Oh, you're right. You uh, you can cast Healing Word and heal somebody, or you could... Actually, that's about all you can do. Yeah. Does anybody need to be healed right now? I'm good. Okay, Craig, cool. I'm Craig took that. one arrow, but other than that... Oh, he could walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it went through his <laughs> knee. Literally, it's just like sticking there in there. I'm just like <sighs> again. More of an inconvenience than anything. <laughs> this isn't He's the fine. first time Craig has had an arrow sticking out of it. All right, so that ends your turn. Get used to it. I like to imagine he said that in character. <laughs> that ends your turn then. This isn't the first time Craig has had an arrow sticking out of him. <laughs> just talking to himself in the third person. All right, up next, Craig. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, let's. Everyone seems to be headed in the same direction, so I guess I should probably try and follow. Um, yeah. uh, uh, is there an easy way up this embankment here? Uh, there's okay. not really an easy way. Um, you can try and climb up it, uh, and with a good enough athletics check, it might not take uh, as much movement as it otherwise would. Um, right. well... Uh, then, uh, so, uh, 
Craig stands up and he looks towards the cliff and he's like, I will not have to do this much anymore, but... Uh, and then he's going to rage. Uh, his rage is more like a... Through some of the training he's been going through, it's more of an intense focus. He doesn't really get angry. He just gets determined and like dead set on what it is he's trying to do, which is climbing right now. All right. It's pretty sick. So he is going to make try to make. I'm going to try to climb up the, the right. embankment here. I'm going to this... activate your rage quickly. There we go. Um, and then you can go ahead and make an athletics check for me. Natural we'll twenty that again. Natural twenty. Oh that's that's goodness. two two nat twenties in a row. <laughs> All right, you just like, uh, you just here. Let me update your elevation. You just charge up the embankment, just like, and just like run up, uh, monk style, and and make your way up there and you see Dennis standing there and a bit away the goblin uh, okay. yeah how much movement was that uh that was 30 feet okay uh, let's... so you've used your movement and your bonus action you still have your action uh, I am going I will use my action to dash. Uh, I am going to, but I'm going to get All right. to within and ten this, feet. this is difficult terrain, so you can get to around there with 30 feet of movement. Okay, uh, that'll still be within 10 feet of it? Yep. Hopefully. Okay, perfect. Alright. Just, there we go. And then what would you like to do? Any, oh wait, that's that's pretty much everything. Unless you'd like to shout that's at him. That's it. All right. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna stare intensely at him, um, and <laughs> I'm just gonna have, I'm, I'm just gonna have my hand down uh, by my side next to my whip, and I dare you. All right. Pepper. All right. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna see what we can do. Oh. I know. I mean, I know. I I need to attack. My rage is gonna go. Hmm. It's some rage right there, but whatever. Wait. So I can move twenty five feet. I'm trying to think. Just trying to think because I real I cannot see what is going on up there at all. Oh. So. Uh, here. Let me just. You can, you, like, kind of have a sense of what's going on. Like, you can sort of make that out. Oh. It's just okay. difficult to see, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. If I... Here... Does Rage end at I the start of your turn attack. or at the end of your turn? I'm checking when rage ends, if it ends early. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, it, end, it ends at, it, at the end of your turn if you haven't attacked or taken damage. Okay. So you can get to move. about here. Yeah, I'll move here. And then if you want to yeah, try and it, dash it, up the up the sucks. if you want to try and dash I, up I the side of the able, thing. I wanna be able to If you right? if you dash and make an athletics check, you can potentially get up to here. I just wanna be sure I can attack. You will not be able to attack. Unless okay. uh do you have you have javelins and hand axes, so you could try to throw one up to there. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking I could do. He would have, at that angle, probably... probably idea, but... I'll say half cover at that angle from you. That's, 
fair. I mean, I can't do a thing. Um. Because the Warhammer, I I can barely throw that. I can't. Throw you that. can't. You can't throw the Warhammer. You can throw a hand axe or a yeah. javelin. Thing. The javelin has a longer range, but either way, he's out of your range. So, uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, so either either one. I'm not gonna... He's 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 about forty feet away from you. And the range on the javelin is 30 feet, so no matter what, it's going to be at disadvantage. Okay. Well, the hand axe is 20 or 60 feet? Yeah. Hand axe, minimum range is 20 feet, full range is 60 feet, but 60 feet is with disadvantage. Okay. The javelin is 30 slash 120, so... Yeah. I think I'll take... do the javelin. All right. We'll figure out how to do this. Click the attack button and then attack with disadvantage. I think there's okay. a attack. thing that pops up for that. Uh, disadvantage. Okay. Even with disadvantage, Good. seventeen. Uh, which with half cover just barely hits. So go ahead and roll damage. Okay. As we do that? as uh, you click the damage button, then. Just... Oh. Uh, as you th uh... bring your javelin back and throw it up, and he just you watch as the goblin like lifts up his shield, and the javelin goes through the shield and slams into his side. Uh... <laughs> He is very hurt. Um, okay. I'm assuming that's the end of your turn. Yes. <laughs> All right. Up next is Deadshot. He knocks an arrow. Are we killing him or are we taking him out? <laughs> Alright, so I think you technically cannot declare a ranged attack non-lethal. So I Deadshot is going to shoot for a tree branch over the goblin's head with the hope of dislodging it. Cause let's have some fun here. In either way. Um be upset if he dies. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what information we're hoping to get from the goblin. <laughs> really don't know either. Uh, what is his like, attack bonus? <laughs> his attack bonus is, uh, okay. So, his attempt is successful oh, as he brings the arrow back and points it up. You watch the arrow flies, uh, and <laughs> and it the slams into the tree branch, which and goes straight through, branch falls down. Um, however, since this is a weird thing, that's not just going to be an instant takeout. The goblin is going to get a dexterity save. The goblin is going to fail the dexterity save. That was a three on the die. So the branch just comes down and uh, slant, uh, just hits the goblin directly in the head. He's not dead, he's just unconscious. Don't give him the dead status effect. There we go. Alright. And that, the last goblin falls to the ground unconscious. Yay! Go. What would you like to do? Uh, okay, well... Oh, got wait. Some rope? I have to hit the end combat button. Award oh, yes, XP. Assign XP. Uh... Alright. Everybody gets... 
XP. That should have added to everybody's character sheet. It didn't add to everybody's character sheets. <laughs> oh, wait, here. I get to click the buttons in here. All right. Did that show up in everybody else's chats? If so, I think you might be able to hit the add button yourself to add it. I've done that. So you get the satisfaction of actually claiming your XP. Love that, that's great. Love that. Sean, you're the only one that hasn't claimed yours. There you go. I can just suck it in, it works all right. Cool. Yep. Dang, I love claiming XP, doesn't claim it. <laughs> all right, and your rages do wear off at this point because, you know, combat ended and all that. What would you like to do? <laughs> you now have an unconscious goblin lying over there. You want to you want to investigate what the cart or the want to investigate the goblin we didn't kill? All right, so you're going to climb up the cliff face oh, down. Here, I'm gonna drag you up because because I have a wall there that... There you go. You can eventually clamber up the cliff face, because... It's a struggle during combat, but... I'm assuming the rest of you all are also coming over to the goblin eventually. Here, let me just drag you guys over so that... There you go. <laughs> You have an unconscious goblin lying there, javelin, like, through his shield and partly sticking into his side. What would you like to do? I just, like, take my javelin back. <laughs> just, like, <take> that. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Fine. Fine. All right. Just take that out. And, and you I all just... can reclaim your like javelins and stuff. Yeah. Here, let me just put the javelins back in character sheets. Jay, whenever you're done with that, I want to tie up the goblin. Yeah. All right. I have rope. I think I really pretty much everybody if they had rope like five times only to realize I have rope. I think pretty <laughs> much everybody has rope. Everybody has rope. Uh, yeah, you're not I special. <laughs> because we didn't want to use our rope. What? Well, you can take it back. <laughs> You just untie him again. All right, whoever. Also, tell me, tell me, tell me in the eyes and tell me you are going to use your rope for something else. I mean, I'm I mean eventually, all the rope always gets used. Whoever, whoever is tying up the goblin, um, please make a. Let's see, what's a good check for this? Well, check. Sleight of hand seems to be the. Um where are you? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the tools. For now we'll call it a sleight of hand check. Um okay. Yeah. So whoever's <laughs> that's, a, that's a four. That's a four? I rolled yeah. a two. Over yeah, here. I rolled a two, that's a four. Alright, yeah, that that goblin, you're you're confident he's he's tied up real nice. That's, that's the... Oh, it's a work of art! And I kind of, like, wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> so do you, like, stand up and the rope just instantly goes slack? Yeah, I think it really just looks like I just threw, like, a bundle of rope on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, le legit, you all, the rest of you all can tell this is never going to hold. Like, basically what he did is he <laughs> took the rope and just loose, like, the rope is still in a coil and he just, like, Put it, put it over the goblin, like, with, with the goblin in the center of the coil. But the goblin is small enough that it's really... There's no room... There's room for the goblin to wiggle in there. I, I look over to Deadshot and look, can you help me with this? All right. Uh, so he's going to come and, over. And, and I, say, I say that, but I hand him the rope and I'm going to help him. All right. He is going to make... Wait, who are you talking to? Deadshot. Sleight of hand check okay. with advantage... 
That's going to be a 19. This time, it actually is a good tying job. As the goblin is, uh, is, he is, oh shoot, I rolled it privately, hold on. Here, let me, let me, let me try and roll that again. And if it doesn't, okay, that's even better. <laughs> All right. Um, the, the goblin ain't, isn't going anywhere. Um, you have successfully tied up the goblin. What would you like to do? I want to search him. All right. Um, he I has on, anything, but I don't think. he has on his person a really crappy like rusted rusty scimitar like it's functional but is it um shoddily made short bow and a handful of black feathered arrows um uh and a shield other than that there's really very little um shield yeah he's got a, a poorly made shield um there's uh, aside from that there's really not much it seems these guys uh despite the ransacked cart uh it seems that these guys do not have uh all that much loot on them I was thinking about stealing them. Well, not stealing it, but like taking it. I think I will. Stealing, <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Even if you call it taking it from him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll leave him be. I can yeah, say I think I it's mean... a bad idea, for the record. <laughs> I know, Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it anyway. Um, I'm not gonna. It's a weird looking type thing. I don't. It's as small as me. I don't like that. It's be shorter. What? Just like oh, shit. Is this okay? snarls a little in his sleep. Because it is as small as you. <laughs> What? <laughs> Never mind. I didn't hear it. Um. So, did it, has anybody checked the cart to see if there's anything left? No. I took a look <laughs> at it ours, before, or? before we started getting attacked. Um, do we recognize the horses? Like, I don't know if we saw them leave on. Um, uh, are they familiar? The. The horses are vaguely familiar. What's more familiar is the rest of the cart. Um, this gear, this, this, the contents of the cart, um, you particularly recognize from a couple of the bags and the map case, this cart belonged to the Rockseeker Brothers. Are they send multiple groups? So, like, carry multiple loads? Take multiple loads, rather? No, you gather this was the cart that they were in. Oh! Oh. Do the arrows of the horses match the arrows from the goblins? Um, same make, same style. They don't, they're not a perfect match because they're not particularly well made, so there's going to be yeah. some discrepancies like they're all the feathers are black okay, but so it's but said it's probably the same. all of them have black feathers but some of the feathers on the arrows are like clearly they were not originally black and they were like painted black so that they could match not dyed like actually just paint slapped on there and it's good enough um but yeah you gather they are the same you gather 
these goblins or perhaps compatriots of theirs were the assailants that killed the horses. So, the cart that had the rock seekers in it, uh, then I'm noticing a stark lack of them. Oh, the horrible sentence. Whoa, did I get kidnapped or something? Hey, when this little one wakes up, I'm sure we can find out. Right. There's a map. There's a map missing too. They don't recall them talking about, but in fact, probably important. Yeah. Did we ever uh, check the corpses of the other goblins? I, I you, did. you did not. All right, well, I'm gonna go do that. Probably All right. Wake up. Um, between the goblins, you gather up around, like, 23 arrows. They, they're they functional. That's about all you can say about them. Uh, same weaponry. Uh, well, one of them has a mace instead of a scimitar, but same poor workmanship. All of them have shields, all of them have poorly made bows. Um, they're all wearing, uh, like, various scraps of leather armor. Well, it was various scraps of stitched together leather that can function as armor. Uh, for them, it leaves a lot of portions exposed, and some of the stitch work is so terrible that it's liable to just fall apart with too much movement. Um, between the all of the corpses, you find, like, uh, five copper pieces and a silver piece. Take that. Uh, I'm also gonna pick up my javelins. Alright. I already put uh, them back into your character sheet for you, so... Yeah. Well, uh, no map or anything! Nothing valuable either. And I put the copper pieces and silver piece in my, in my pocket without saying anything. <laughs> Just don't say anything. Make a sleight of hand check. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have a terrible track record. You don't actually have to make a sleight of hand check. Body! Well, there you go. That was the me. smoothest you have ever been. Like, you, like, you, you managed to pass it off as just, like, 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 just scratching your hip a little, but the, you just slip the coins into your pocket. It is, it is flawless. Anything else you'd like to do? I feel like Elmer has, like, the, the, the kind of, like, instinct to immediately, like, point out how cool what he just did was, and then he thinks twice, because he remembers that he was, that the thing he did was hiding something. No, guys, that was, oh, guys. He opens his mouth for a second, and he's like, oh, my God, did you guys see how cool that was? You guys totally missed when I just stole that shit in front of you. No, guys, that was such an awesome... Burned. That was such an awesome... Bird that I saw. <laughs> yeah, that'd be perfect. But uh, yeah, nothing good on. Anything else you'd like to do before you deal with this goblin you have before you? Mm. I don't think so. All right, then. How do you go about dealing with the goblin? I'm gonna wake him up by yelling at him. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> does anyone else have a better solution? Like point a crossbow at him or something, just in case he gets a funny <laughs> idea. Like before, like as we wake him up as a threat. Does anyone else want to do anything? I'm sorry, mine was my reaction was really quick. No, before I start shouting at this <laughs> poor guy. No, I, I, I just. Oh, that sounds fun. Craig sees you getting ready to shout. He's like, "Well, no, that's pretty much how it works." So he just sits back. And... Right. Uh, like, I, I want it to be like an audible shouting. Like you can't understand what she's saying, but she's yelling. Craig's gonna move <laughs> to. It's like so 
I'm sorry, like, I get really mad at Animal Crossing. I'm trying to move behind the goblin, but apparently that's where, like, the trunk of the tree is. Oh, but... yeah. Sorry, here. Let me just... I can... I. Cool thing. Uh, if you if you hold shift while dragging a character, then you can you can move them like between grid spaces, so you can get them into a more advantageous position. Ooh. Okay. So as you're shouting, the goblin just yeah no. <laughs> oh, he's awake. <laughs> What languages do you all speak? I speak goblin. Russian. Uh, okay. I don't speak oh, goblin. goblin. I didn't know that. That's cool. Great job right. about this guy. Go so on. Craig speaks goblin. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even speak goblin. <laughs> Dennis speaks Craig, goblin. I speak goblin. Odra speaks no. goblin. So, uh, <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> Dennis, Craig, and Odra understand what he's saying. He is saying some extremely vulgar, uh, um, insults and, and just berating you in Goblin. Um, like, we, we technically have not, uh, Unlike the previous two episodes, we haven't we haven't lost our PG thirteen rating for this episode yet. If I were to translate what he was saying to you, we would be this would be rated like NC seventeen. <laughs> so we should all take guesses right now what this guy is trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just shouting like racial slurs. None of them are from the D and D world. It's just like actual racial slurs. It makes no sense. <laughs> no. But they're in goblins, so nobody knows what they are. Yeah. Half of us know what they are. Yeah, we know. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. Yeah. 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 Whatever. What do you don't know? Release me! Really? Like, no, knocked out again, or actually killed. I don't, I don't care. Oh, I should remove the unconscious condition from him, I suppose. And add the restrained condition. That, that would make sense to do. Um. Release me! Alright, so... Free me! I kill you are! Alright, so we can ask what him. What? I was gonna- It's just like, we, we need to ask what the two people that just went missing, right? The, the people in the cart in front of us, I forgot their name. There was right. Gundren, Thardin, Nundro, and Sildar. Did they have nicknames? Um, they, were they all together, or did... I, I, I know we know all the brothers, but I thought... Uh, at I least... It was just him and Sildar were together. Some of, some of you met all of them. Uh, it was just Gundren and Sildar uh, at, at the meetup. Um, but he did... I, I believe he did speak of the others... Um, but there was Gundren, here, hold on, wait, uh, I meant to show Did that with the, the title. Alright, so there was, there was Gundren, uh, and, um, Sildar, you know, for, uh, were both at the meeting, and then, um, the others were not present, but uh, most of you heard their names at least. They were Thardin, Nundro, Thardin and Nundro, Rockseeker. Oh. Since Pepper does not understand what's 
going on. She's just kind of like looking around to see everyone's reaction. Like, to see if they can gauge anything out of this. And what a nose he has. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, that's a Shaw's. Yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Anyways, Elmo's probably about to fall asleep again. Okay. <laughs> we, interrogation, we need to do that. Um. Start asking questions. Yeah. I I can't. You're, you're speak asking me. This language. Get, get, you keep you keep saying we need to ask you questions. Ask well, yeah, questions. but like the English language is failing me right now. I should just start speaking German. Uh, <laughs> speaking German. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, you saw someone that would know how to speak Goblin in real life. <laughs> and the the goblin is just looking confusedly at you all because he's sitting there like tied up, and you're all just bickering about. <laughs> As it should be. I uh, just I just sized uh, fine. And he okay. decides to pull rank. Um, so still from behind, he grabs the rope and kind of lifts up the goblin and turns him, and putting on his old like captain of his in his previous life, kind of looks at him going to tell us what we need to know, and maybe you'll leave with all your fingers intact. Make an intimidation what check happens? with advantage. I am so not... Intimidation! Uh, you can use strength instead of charisma if you'd like for this. Ooh! A little bit better. Oh, <laughs> that was intimidating, <laughs> And uh, at this point, it... <laughs> and at this point, you notice he's already missing like two different fingers from his hands. Your threat of him There's losing fingers one. did not seem to hold much sway. Well, if someone wants to use him as a punching bag. I just hold him up. <laughs> Elmer is immediately awake again. <laughs> <laughs> and I rage? Not actually. <laughs> I'm going to lift my hammer and kind of do it like a, like the baseball bat and kind of like spin it around in circles as I approach. Like sight into my eyes. I'm going to like hug the hammer right away and see his reaction first. I hope that he gets intimidated. Can I roll an intimidation check? Alright. Go ahead, roll an intimidation check with advantage. This, again, will be strength-based. Okay. This is strength-based? Okay, that's, that's the same thing. Anyways. That's gonna be a big ol' eight. <laughs> and he spits in your face. Some... I knew he was gonna spit in my face. Like, I knew it was gonna be spit in my face. I'm gonna hit him with the hammer. <laughs> Oh, All right, you swing back and just. <laughs> that looks super, super hard. Like, like, uh, I'm gonna say I'll use the blunt side, but that's all of them. Um, like, I don't want to knock him out. I just want to hurt him. Fine. I talk. Good. Gotta come to an understanding. How many people? How many people were riding this car when it was empty? I, I, I hold up fingers and just tell me to stop when we get to the right number. Seventeen. That's very good. Where were they taken? Station. Uh, hideout. Would I know anything about the Kragmaw clan? Make a history check. Ooh. 16. You've you've heard of them. They're they they've been in the area. Um they they're fairly widespread uh for not having too much prominence. Um though they have been gaining some more strength lately and have even been like recruiting help from others. Uh You've heard about some hobgoblins that have that have also started working with them. Um, they, you're you're not 
overly familiar with them, but you know, like, you know of them, and you, you recognize the name. Okay. <laughs> There's Cragmore. Where's the hideout? Where's the hideout? In words, I could take you. <laughs> If you want, I guide you. Okay, so you look at us three. Do we want a guide or do we just want directions? Mm, I don't know if I trust him. We can keep him tied up. Doesn't mean you still can't leave us in the trap. No, I guide you. I, may I also walk. Be able to I know him. guide if not walk. Mm, I mean, as long as you tie up, still are out. No, no, I, I, I know guide if, if untied, if, if tied, I guide if untied. What am I saying? What's he saying? He's saying that he'll only guide us if we untie. Ah, no, no, no. Fuck you. And he says that one in common. <laughs> oh no, we lost their PG-13 rating. No, you're allowed one. You're allowed one. Oh, okay, right. Oh, I said fuck earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've lost it. Ah, uh, we were so fucking close. Ah, <laughs> uh, goddammit. Nice fun, guys. Fucking believe you guys. <laughs> guys, you need to watch your fucking language. <laughs> oh, now they also got a PG-13 ring. You really don't thin legs here. That's why I love the phrases. Fuck you, he's a gnome. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's make a deal. So we let you guide us. You will guide us to the entrance. And then you will leave with your life. If we suspect at any moment that you are being mischievous or deceiving, you die. That's unfair. Insight check. Go ahead. While he's doing that, um, Pepper's just like glaring at him. <laughs> You're glaring at um, the lovely. He's. Thing. 16. He is occasionally glaring back, he, but his eyes are like darting around to everybody because he's nervous. Um, he's being truthful in a sense. Um, you get the sense that he he definitely does not plan to just cooperate, but he plans to cooperate in a sense. He's going to he plans to guide you. He plans to. And he's obviously not gonna attack you, but he might not be being entirely forthright. It's difficult to tell for sure because he is extremely nervous. Um, you also get the sense that he probably would agree to anything that that would save his life right now. So. Deal. Oh, Deal, I I've done my part. I'll leave the rest up to you. If I talk to the rest of you. Are you going to see in case he wants that, uh, what you think of his, uh, from the other uh, Yeah, he's... He's... Dodge. He's, he's not going to, like, flat out, like, lead us to death, but he's not going to, like, 100%, like, say, oh, look, here are my friends where I live, go ahead and kill them all. So... Oh, no. And it, that, that all you... don't like him. That, that all you want, no? Yes. That part he says in common. That, that all you want to know? Were they all taken to this hideout? Yes. That's questioning. So, do, 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 do we believe that? <laughs> you're welcome to make it. I mean, let's let's. Your passive insight is yeah. Um, he's he's not lying, but like. He's not, he's not in time. He, you get the sense, he answered your question truthfully, but you're, you're doubting that they're all still there. You're guessing, yeah, they were all taken there. You're, you doubt they're, they're all still there. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. I mean, I guess it was me, though. Yes. Really yes. Here. They are taken to hideout. Yes. 
will, I will, I will look over to to Pepper. I will, I will leave it to you to make the final decision on whether he lives or dies. I will I, untie I, the I untie think, the ropes. I can give more. No, no, no. You you know kill. I I talk he more. Attack me first. You you know kill. I talk more. I tell more. Just save us the trouble and tell us everything you know. Everything. Everything Where? you know about the people and the contents of this. Oh, oh. We were going to be yes, here for a long be, time otherwise. That will be, it'll, okay. That will be a uh, very short conversation either way. This is language. It's, are you guys talking in. Um... If he's not talking right. common, I'm translating it. Okay, thank you. Wait. Okay. So. Hide out. Uh, crime or hideout. It run by a by a, a, a bugbear named Clark. Yeah, uh, but uh, he not leader of Cragmo, he leader of Cragmo hideout. Uh, uh, leader of Cragmo tribe, uh, King Groll. Who uh, uh, he he live in Cragmo Castle. Which is not Cragmo Hideout, it's Cragmo Castle, two, two different places. Cragmo Castle, I also can guide, guide there if you want. I, I can bring you there. Yeah. Okay, uh, then uh, uh, Clark, 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 a few days ago, yeah, uh, he uh, he received a, a messenger uh, from from King Kroll, uh, uh say say uh, someone named the Black Spider, uh, uh, pay, paying the Kragmos uh, to to watch out for for that that dwarf, uh, the dwarfs dwarfs three dwarfs, uh, the the the, the rock seekers. Gundin, uh, Numbo, and Tartar. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, uh, they they want us to uh, capture, capture the dwarfs and uh, send them and and what they have to to King Grawl. Uh, so. So we, we wait here and we ambush and uh, the, the dwarf had a map. So we sent the dwarf and his friends and a map to King Groll. <laughs> the humans steal it, steal it at the hideout, yeah. Sildar still at the yeah, yeah. He 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 in the eating cave. Well, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> see, see, I I help you, you know, kid. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. A uh, pepper looks over at Craig, and she says, "Well." As long as he doesn't attack me first, he lives. My will. And just like, looks back at him and just <laughs> looks back at the goblin and is just like, still glaring down at him. <laughs> Alright, little one. Lead us to your hideout. You want tie first. Oh, I look around for any objections. There's an object. Not. Van Elmer shrugs. Alright, and I will untie him. Okay. Okay. Me this way. Yeah. Me this way. <laughs> no.
Let's go. And he begins to lead you away into the woods. Um, <laughs> we go, yes. Uh, what is your marching order? He's still speaking in a... Dennis is somewhere around here. That look good? All right. So, short rest. Taking a short rest. Yep. Short rest. Anybody who wants to use uh, any hit dice is welcome to. Uh, Everyone who got hit. Yeah. Uh, and I'm on trying, your I'm not, I'm not that. on your character sheets, Imagine. you can hit the like six attacks aimed at me and only one hit. So on, on your character sheet, yeah, there yeah, is sure. a hit uh, short rest button if you want to just click that so that it, so that, that you can regenerate any abilities you might have used up. I don't think I really used anything, so I'm good, really. I will. Uh, I did use uh, my rage, but that doesn't... Yeah, I think that comes back on a long rest. Yeah. Um, alright. Otherwise, I really didn't use anything. And as you set off into onto the trail, um... Uh, the goblin begins leading you northwest uh, towards the hideout. Um, after about... Uh, Alright, let's see. What is... Okay. After about ten minutes of traveling... Um, Deadshot stops, um, and, uh, points to the ground ahead where you see a snare, a uh, snare trap, like, hidden on the ground. Like, it, they made attempts to cover it with foliage and stuff, but it's not particularly well hidden. Um, it's, it's just a net spread out across the ground and a couple of, of rope triggers ready to pull it up. Yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, there's a snare trap on the trail, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Any other yeah. traps? Uh, <clears throat> ah. I just look at the yes. group, there's definitely more traps here, so... Yes, oh, there yeah. is. <laughs> yes, there is another trap. Did you tell us where, perhaps, or...? Oh, oh, uh, up ahead, further, <laughs> further ahead, yeah. Okay, great. Tell us before we hit it, right? Uh, yeah, you haven't hit it yet, yeah. Okay. Shall we continue? <laughs> Move on. All right. We'll probably continue. Um, and as you continue on, uh, about ten more minutes pass. You guys made a good call putting putting Deadshot in the lead. Um, found it. Yeah. Fun sound. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a. There's. There's that. That trap there. Yeah. See. See. I told you it was up ahead. Yeah. And you. You. With it now pointed out to you, this one is much better hidden. Uh, you see a six foot wide, like covered pit, um, covered up with a bunch of like brush and, and and leaves and branches. Um it definitely if it hadn't been pointed out to you, none of you probably would have noticed it otherwise. Um there you go. See trap. 
See, I tell you truth, I truth, Frank. Let's keep going. Yeah. Good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you continue along further and um, uh, after a bit more travel you eventually see a clear sort of clearing up ahead with um, shoot I didn't create a backdrop for this one. Dang it. Uh, hold on. Um, you see up ahead a clearing, uh, with a cave entrance. Um, and a river flowing out of the cave. Uh, where, there we go. Oh, shoot, I forgot to set it so that people could see it. Um, <laughs> one moment. Technical <laughs> difficulties. Please stand by. Oh my god, we don't have dark vision? Safe changes. There we go. You see a cave entrance with a river flowing out of it. Or not a river, barely a stream. Um, uh, in the hillside, it's... And, um... There are dense briar thickets on the sides, and a narrow path leading into the cave on the right-hand side of the stream. I turn to, I turn to our little goblin god. Is this it? Yeah. What do you go by? Skeev. Skeev. If you would like to live to see another day, it may be best for you to turn around and came the, and the way you came. After you tell us what's inside. Ah, uh, goblins. Uh, about, uh, uh, about twelve. Don't even pretend to give me a number. You don't know how to count. Twenty. So I turn to everyone. There's any, anywhere between five and fifty goblins. No, no, anywhere between helpful. between uh, thirty three and eight. As I said, <laughs> so this is the entrance. Do you have anybody watching? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> uh, make a. <laughs> Make a dexterity check to see if you can get there in time. Um, all of us, sir. Uh, no, he's trying to put his hand over the goblin's mouth. So. Oh, okay. Oh, exactly. You you don't make it in time. <laughs> Is there anybody on guard? Uh, and after a couple seconds, you hear <laughs> from. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, make please make a stealth check for me. Right. Um, as Skeev calls out, um, and you hear, uh, after a couple seconds, um, you, you, oh no! <laughs> after after a couple of Sorry, seconds, I don't know what's going on? Uh, We're rolling stealth checks. Okay. Sorry, I lost like completely what's going on because my audio just dropped and I couldn't hear a single thing. Uh, so we took the goblin to the entrance to the goblin place? Skeev uh, led you to the entrance to the cave. Um, Craig asked if there were any uh, guards. Um, Skeev answered that uh, no, there were not. Um, and, or no, Skeev, Skeev answered uh, that he didn't know. So he said, let me check. And then he called out, hey, is there anybody on guard? Uh, and Craig said, told everybody to hide. Okay, so I'm, I'm making. Elmer, what was your stealth, stealth check? Elmer, what was your stealth? Thank you. 
All right. Deadshot and Craig managed to hide. Everybody else is, like, caught off guard. And, um, a, a couple seconds after Steve calls out, you hear from behind the brush, No, there's nobody here! And then a few more seconds pass, and a couple of arrows fly out of the brush towards uh, the people that didn't manage to uh, successfully hide. Um, uh, did I? <laughs> I don't know if I did. Uh, you rolled a seven. I don't, I, I'm gonna assume that's a no. <laughs> uh, so the arrows are going to fly towards, um, let's see, it would be closer to something like this, towards uh, Dennis and Pepper. Oh god. Mm. Um... So, against Pepper, that is going to be a crit, and against Dennis, that is going to be a hit. So, um, oh wait, I keep clicking over on the wrong menu. Don't let it be like the other campaign that I'm in, that where it's just like I'm almost one shot every time. Well, hey, at least you're a barbarian this time. At least we are level one. That, that's true. That's uh, very true. So, um... At this point, uh, so, Pepper, you take, math, hold on, seven points of piercing damage, oh and Dennis takes four points of piercing damage as, uh, the arrows come flying out of, uh, Wait, yeah. <laughs> you take seven points of piercing damage. And Dennis takes four. Okay, just keep... Did I just do this? Here, let me just... Uh, there you go. What did you do? I updated your health. Okay, okay right. thank you. Deadshot is... Hidden. There is not a condition for hidden. Okay. Well, Deadshot and Craig are hidden. Um, at this point, I would like everybody to play as a role initiative. Yay! I got oh, an no, exact seven. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Lies. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave. That's my first turn here. Uh, I extended twice. We're just. This is going to be the final. This combat is going to be the the fina the final uh the finale of the session. Okay. All right. So. Guys, I'm at half my hit points already. Begin Let's combat. Go. Up first is Deadshot, who is going to, uh, Deadshot is going to pull out his bow, and is going to fire an arrow into the, hold on, I did not press the button that I meant to press. Alright, uh, Deadshot is going to fire an arrow into the thicket and hope that it hits. So that's a disadvantage. Uh, you hear a and it just hits briars and nothing. Um, does he have any bonus actions? Uh, he does not. Great. Well, uh, that, that's Deadshot's turn. Um, he probably would have moved to there to get a better advantage. Uh, and then Dennis, great, I'm going twice in a row now. Um, Dennis is going to... What spells does he have?
Uh, Dennis is going to cast Witch Bolt. Um, actually, no. Dennis is going to cast Bless. Uh, and he is going to bless, uh, Let's see. He is going to bless Pepper, Elmer, and Craig. So, Pepper, Elmer, and Craig, uh, whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw while well, the spell is active, you can add a d4 to the roll. All right. Uh, up next, Odra. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading something real quick, please. You're good. Um. Okay. There are three of them, right? Um, just want to confirm? Uh, yes. Or no. As, as two arrows came out of the brush. So as far as you know, there are two. And then there's Skeev, if you wanted to attack Skeev. Oh, that's Oh, name. okay. So we don't know where the other two are. Or whatever ones. You know that they're somewhere back here. That's that's the extent okay. of your knowledge. Great. I was looking, um it's really bad. I was looking at how um one of my cantrips is written and it says um each creature that you can see. Yeah, a lot of spells are like that. that. Yeah, so if I can't see them then I probably can't cast that, right? Uh if you're talking about the the uh, first one, it's each creature that can see you. Each creature that can see- oh! Hmm. Do I want to do that? Because, like, the only thing is, like, that's also gonna make it so- hmm. I could do that, then use an action to find them, I guess. Right? Uh, Is that a dumb move? You you can't see behind the brush. Uh, you could do that, and then you could move to around to somewhere else where you might have a better chance at seeing them. Um. Uh, it's up to you. Mm. I mean, eh, why not? All right. So are you gonna cast? Memento Mori. Yeah. All right. So, Odra steps forward, and suddenly, uh, you all watch as her appearance shifts, um, from just the ordinary appearance you recognize into this horrifying visage of death for a moment. Um, I am going to need everybody to make a charisma saving throw remember those of you that are blessed can add a d4 to your roll do we only get to add the d4 once uh no you get it as long as the spell is active okay gotcha natural one <laughs> Charisma saving throw, you said? Yes. That's a wow. seven for me. Alright. Uh, so... Elmer, you are I'm... stunned. Craig, you are... I'm going to use... Hold on. I'm going to use 
Uh, my saving face ability. Ah. Saving face. Uh, so I get a bonus equal to the number of allies that I can see within 30 feet up to plus 5. Alright. Um, I... Well, it doesn't matter if I count Skeev because you can see 5, which is enough to get you up to the DC. Um, which is good, because I didn't know whether I was going to count Skeev, but that just barely gets you there, so you are not stunned. Uh, Pepper, what was your saving throw? Sorry, I just got back. <laughs> oh, you need to make a charisma saving throw. Ah, shit, alright. <laughs> charisma? Yep. Dennis is fine. Wow. Nice. Deadshot is super fine. Saving throw? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, just normal? Charisma saving throw. Okay. And plus, you get to add a d4, but you don't need it, because you got a tw natural 20. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so, Yo, uh, just, so, just so you're aware of what's going on, Odra just Sorry, cast no. a spell that for a moment turned her into this horrifying visage of death. Um, oh, and everybody great. had to make a saving throw. Was... Yeah, that that was okay. o what Odra temporarily turned into. Uh, anything That's else terrifying. you'd like to do, Odra? Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move and try to see if I can get a better sight of them, I think. Alright, where do you want to move to? You can get to around oh, there. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Alright. I can't go horribly. I don't think. You are standing in <laughs> the water. Not that that matters too much to you, because you are a sea elf. Oh, no. Anything else you'd like to do? Or does that end your turn? Uh, that ends my turn. Alright. Yeah, um, picture was horrifying, by the way. <laughs> I just come back and I'm like, oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Alright. One of the goblins is up next. Um, and you hear a... Uh, he is going to charge through the, br the brush and briars and attack you, Odra with oh, his okay. scimitar because you just turned into a horrifying thing and he wants to get rid of you as soon as possible. Um, and he guess. has advantage because he was attacking from a hidden position. Shit. Okay. Um, so that's gonna hit. And you take six points of slashing damage. Ooh, lovely. Okay. I just moved my hit point. Uh, the other goblin is stunned. Old Man Elmer is stunned. Skeev is nice. going to turn and start to run away. Uh, so, so wait. So, I'm sorry. I'm really confused on what how this happened because I couldn't hear what happened exactly. So was so was Skeev just like showing us the way and this happened, or was he intentionally trying to be? You honest? reached the cave. Uh, Craig asked if there was anybody keeping a lookout. Skeev said he didn't know, and then just shouted out, "Hey, is there anybody uh, on on lookout?" Which obviously then alerted them to your presence. Um, Speaking of Craig, so... Craig, it's your turn. Alright. Thank you. Alright. All right. Um... Oh, well, well. Quick, don't mean to interrupt, but I am going to head out. I will see you guys next session. Alright, see ya. Bye-bye, everybody. Good luck with the Bye, Bye old man Elmer. Have a good night. Uh, I'm gonna look at Ski running away. Good. 
Uh, stupid. It's... <laughs> um, I'm going to say. By the way, just so you're aware, you are able to move through the brush. Just wanted oh. to make sure you're aware of that so that... I don't know if you had any intention of doing so, but... No, I didn't do that. That was that one. So if I move here, do I have a clear line of sight to this one? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that then. We'll move there, uh, and then I will grab my whip from my side, and I will... Nice, the whip here. comes out. Ooh. Spicy. And remember, you get to add a d4. Ooh, that? Take that, 18 to hit. 18 to hit, definitely hits. Yay. Three points of damage. Alright, three <laughs> points of damage to that guy. Uh, let me... Apply damage. All right. Um. Anything else you'd like to do? No, that'll be it. All right. Pepper. All right. Um. Can I see kind of from where I am, like how bad this goblin right in front of uh, Odra is doing? Um. Can he's t he's taken one hit. He's not doing too badly. Um, like, he's hurt, but he's not down for the count. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move here. And I'm going to take my Warhammer and attack him. All right. Nice. Go ahead and roll an attack. Did you want to rage first? Uh, or do you want to save we, that? Well, wait, we, we think... You have one rage um, left, so you can use it or you can save it for later. Uh, I'll... To you. Uh, shoot. Mm, I think I'll save it. I think All I'll right. It. So we do know that there's a bugbear here, and... They hit hard. Okay. Uh, okay, so I will... Alright, I've pulled, I've pulled up one more. What do I do? I do... Alright, go ahead and roll an attack. Okay. Mm, I think I'll save the d4, right? Was it? Uh, you get to add it to every attack. It's not Bardic Inspiration, it's Bless. Yeah, Bless is an awesome spell. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Can I... Wait, can I add that? Yeah, I think... Yeah, there's, a, there's, not... there's a line that says situational bonus. Mm -hmm. You can just put 1d4 in that line. And oh, add. yeah. okay. I'll use it. Got it. Oh! Well, oh. <laughs> How many 20s is oh. that thus far? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> and that's this Good session. Goblin. That's that a twenty-eight high. to hit. I think that hits. Let me check. <laughs> I think that hits. <laughs> Just maybe. All right, go ahead and roll, uh, damage and uh for sit and hit critical hit. Critical hit. Okay. And versatile. Make sure hit versatile. Oh. Okay. We'll just delete that and. So wait, I do... Hit versatile and then critical hit. Because you were holding oh, okay. it with two hands. Oh, okay. 
17. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh. Damn. Apply damage. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, uh, he is. Here, hold on. Let me just, um. Let me just, uh, quickly, uh. That's a crit That's a one crit. Uh, let me just, let me just, um, uh. Uh, I was gonna say, do you have a blood splatter big enough for that? <laughs> I can do multiple blood splatters. <laughs> uh, um, uh, like, just, like, flushes him. Just... Hold on, let me... Where is my blood splatter? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why can I not find my blood splatters? Um, uh, well, we'll just use, uh, oh, here we go. Um, let's just, uh, is that applying it? No, it's applying underneath. Uh, okay, good enough. It's applying to the token, but it just left a blood splatter behind, so... Um, you all can't see that. Alright. Well. Uh. Anyways. Anyways. Deadshot's turn. Deadshot is gonna move to... Hold on, how... Okay. Deadshot is going to move to around here, and he's going to fire another arrow into the brush. Um, with hopes of hitting something. Attack at disadvantage. Again, he does not hit anything. You know, he was a lot more effective when as as much as Dylan complains about his dice rolls, he was a lot his character was a lot more effective when he was here. <laughs> Alright, Dennis, having blessed everyone last turn, is now going to um move to around there probably or no he would move to here all right damn how much speed does he have uh not very much which is why i'm o i'm not moving him the full 35 and i'm only moving him uh to like halfway there it's just difficult terrain is weird um i just can't see anything i'm not sure why it still has craig's movement or no it doesn't okay um, and, you know what, sure, we'll just put him there. All right, Dennis is then going to cast Green Flame Blade. Uh, actually, he is not, because there is not a second creature there, so there's no point. I was going to say, that does nothing at this level. <laughs> it does nothing here, so he's just going to attack with his sword. Um, Violence. Uh, so that is going to be at advantage because, oh, actually that should have canceled out Deadshot's disadvantage. So actually Deadshot would have hit. Um, we're just gonna back that up and roll the damage for Deadshot. Uh, well, no, the two was the first one rolled, so never mind, he wouldn't have hit. All right. Back to what I was doing. Attacking at advantage. That's gonna hit, yeah. Um, and he'd be wielding this with two hands because he doesn't have anything else. Uh, so. Dennis is going to deal three points of slashing damage to... Wait, I rolled that, uh... I rolled both of those as private rolls, it looks like. Oh, well. 
Oh, he did three damage, and the roll was a 16. Um, so that's gonna be Dennis's turn. Odra! Okay. Okay. I appreciate it, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Odra! 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 Okay, now I'm just stressed out, and no, I'm kidding. Um, Boat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. No need to stress. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna ask if my character knows where this other goblin is because I did not see it on my screen. Uh. Yeah. You know he's he's behind the brush over here. Um. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, I do have a spell for that. Ooh, um, I could do a spell. You could. I think I'm gonna do um, toll the dead. What's the spell? Toll the dead. I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, uh, you would have to toll move to here so that you can see him. Oh, yeah, I could do that. All right. <laughs> toll the dead. I'll just. Yeah, I'll just you know kick him at like point blank range. Why not? All right. And he's already, uh, he already has some damage, so I do 1d12, right? Or uh, He has to make a saving throw. Actually, does he... How does saving throws work when you're stunned? Oh, right. They don't. I don't know. It, it, it affects strength and dex. Yeah, I don't know if it affects everything else. mental saves. No. Stunned. I think so. Automatically fails dex and strength. Yeah, no disadvantage or anything on the others, mm -hmm. so... That's gonna be a normal roll. Why am I clicking that over here? Uh, saving oh. throw. Uh, private roll. Normal. Uh, he failed to save. Um, okay, I might have already rolled. Um, so he takes hmm. two points of damage. That's a little anticlimactic. <laughs> No. Yeah. This little oops. Oh. No. Um. <laughs> the worst thing I've And done. the stun goes away. Okay. Here's worse. Uh, <laughs> because okay. your turn ended. Like being one shot. Um, and now it's his turn. Um. I think he would probably try to turn tail and run, but he's not gonna get very far because he's running into the the underbrush um so he'd just get to about there or actually he'd probably get to about there because he'd be running he'd be dashing um up next old man elmer who is no longer stunned but would since Dennis have gotten an opportunity attack uh yes he would have uh, no, actually, the goblin, the goblin is gonna use his bonus action to disengage, uh, and then he would actually run to, um, to here, instead of to the other location. Uh, Dennis is, er, uh, Elmer is no longer stunned. He is going to move... He's just gonna dash into here. And get right up to the goblin. There he go. There he go. And that's about all he can do. Craig. Craig. Do I hear the the rustling of this guy? Yeah, you hear him trying to run away. Can and I catch the, a glimpse of him? Yeah, at this point you can you can basically one moment. I need to do it on my DM and there we go. You can you can see into there at this point. Okay. Uh so I'm just gonna cast Mind Sliver at him. Alright. Intelligence saving throw. DC four Yep. Here. Uh that is going to be 
a natural one. Ooh. Poor guy. Three points of psychic damage. Uh, and for the second time, you all see as a goblin, as Craig just glares menacingly at a goblin, and it just... And it just he collapses forward. Well, I can't see that, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on the other side. I, I can't see what you guys are doing. And either. thus ends that battle. Yay. Uh, I'm gonna stop I killed the, a goblin. the nice. combat music. Nice. Go. Um. I feel very proud. All right. 